Minnesota governor was uh, called out by one of his uh, constituents on, I think this happened a year ago or a year and a half ago when um, the police stations were under summer, fire. Summer of 2020. Yeah. And um, he wanted to know, hey, why'd you have the police stations burned down and you didn't send anybody in to fix it? And the governor was cornered. And he told people to stand I, down. You know, and I, I, I was like, but somebody, hey, can I get a picture? I just want a picture. <laughs> Police station burned to the ground, and that's sent troops in there to stop. Governor, we've got we've got some folks waiting for us up at the army so we should we should have there. Can't answer. I went on there. Can't answer. We're We're not sending our best. We're not saying our best, y'all. I'm telling you. I mean, I've seen people like that before. I've seen people we, just we've like worked that. with them. We've worked yeah. with them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. That's, <laughs> it, that's the thing is uh, these elected officials, I, first of all, when you say we don't send our best, I don't think he's our anything because if, they're, if they can look at you and shirk responsibility right to your face, no accountability at all just laugh and smile and look at you and dismiss you when that's a very serious question. Um, it means he doesn't even it's believe not, he answers to you. He doesn't even believe he, need, he needs to answer you. Understand that it's not just politicians either. It's the yeah. leaders of every institution in this country. And it's not just in this country. In Western Europe, they have the same problem, in some cases worse than ours. Yes. You know, the, our best and our brightest are, are, are floundering. I don't know if they're afraid or, or what they are, but they're not reaching the tops of the places where they should be. You know, mm -hmm. that, that ended generations ago. And these people, these titans of industry, passed all of their riches down to their kids. And about by the third generation, those kids haven't had to work a day in their life. They've had money out the wazoo for their entire life. And they end up turning communist. 